is officially 80 years old today. On the 23rd of September 2019, Batman, of course, is a fictional superhero created in American comic books, published by DC Mag Comics. It was created by artist Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger. It first appeared in Detective Comics, issue 27, in 1939. Originally named The Batman, characters also referenced by such efforts as the Cake Crusader, the Dark Knight, and the world's greatest detective. Batman's secret identity, Bruce Wayne, a wealthy American playboy philanthropist and owner of Wayne Friend Enterprises. His origin depicts Bruce Wayne as a child after witnessing the murder of his parents, Dr. Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne. His former ventures against criminals oath tempered by the sense of justice. Bruce Wayne trains himself physically, intelligently, and crafts a bat inspired person to fight crime. Batman operates a fictional, fictional Gotham City assistance of various supporting characters, including Alfred Butler, John Gordon, Jim Gordon, the Commissioner, and uh, visualizing the allies such as Robin and Batgirl. Unlike, unlike most superheroes, Batman does not possess any human superheroes. He does, however, possess a genius level intellect, a peerless martial artist, and a vast wealth that forms him to extraordinary arsenal weaponry and equipment. A large assortment of villains make up Batman's rogue gallery, including his arch enemy, the Joker. The character being popular soon after his introduction, 1939, again his own comic book titled Batman. The following year, the decades went on and different interpretations of the character emerged. Late 1960s saw Batman, the television series. And it came later on in 1986. The Dark Knight Returned by Frank Muller, the successor of Frank Williams' the live action Batman feature films, and helped maintain the character's pretenders and more mainstream pop culture. In early 1939, the success of Superman and the action comics prompted editors at National Comics Publication to request more superheroes for its titles. In response, Bob Crane created Batman, Colorado for Bob Finger. We called Crane an idea character called Batman. He liked me to see the drawings. I went over to Crane's and draw a character. It looked very much like Superman with kind of rigid gloves. I believe with boots. No gloves at the court. It's a small Don Moe mask. Swinging a rope. With two odd stiff wings that were sticking out. Looking back like bat wings. And that was a big sign. Batman. Batwing like cape was suggested by Bob Kane. Inspired by a child by Lee Demarcher's sketch. For Ome. I to go to uh, flying device. Finger suggests to give the character a cowl instead of a simple domino mask. A cape instead of wings and gloves, he always he recommended moving that weird section of the original costume. Finger and he devised the name Bruce Wayne for the character's secret identity. Bruce Wayne's first name came from Robert the Bruce, a Scottish patron. Wayne, being a Wayne playboy, was a mandatory. I searched for a name that would suggest Connorism. I tried Adams, Hancock, then I thought, Mad Anthony Main. He later said his suggestion was influenced by Lee Fox's popular a Phantom, suffocating new paper comic character, but with Kane was also familiar. Kane grew, drew complimentary 1930s pop culture for inspiration regarding much of Batman's look, personality, methods, and weaponry. Details find presenters in pop fiction, comic strips, newspapers, headings, and other forgotten details referring to Kane himself, and the Coast Street heroes with a double entity. Batman's and predecessors were certainly in Brunel. Zorro, I like them. Batman performs his evil drawing deeds, secret, virgin submission by playing aloof by the public, and marked his work with similar signal. Kane noted the emphasis of films of Mark and Zorro. 1920 in the Bat Whispers, 1930. The creation of characters in diagonology. So, happy birthday, Batman.